Hi, it's Grandma again, and today we're going to read Castle Tales, and we're going to read about the Royal Broomstick. All right, let's read. Now, don't forget, we're looking for the little duck. You ready? This is Greystone Castle. And this is King Leo and Queen Rose. They have two children called Prince Max and Princess Alice. Oh, they look like they're having fun. Today, it is raining. What shall we do, says Max. Let's go up to see Queen Gran in her tower, says Alice. Look, are they having fun in the rain? The ducks are. But the kids don't look like they're having much fun in the rain. Let's go see Queen Gran. Max and Alice climb the stairs to the tower. The room is empty. Where's Queen Gran? asks Alice. She must have gone out, says Max. <gasps> There's a broomstick. Let's pretend it's a horse, says Alice. Queen Gran says we mustn't touch anything, says Max. Uh-oh, do you think they're going to touch the broomstick? Surely, what should you think would happen if you touched a broomstick? Alice gets on the broomstick. Look, look, Max, it's, it's moving. Quick, get on, says Alice. And the broomstick flies around the room. Oh my goodness, that sounds fun. Would you like to fly on a broomstick? Oh, look at that. They're flying. Oh, look, they're flying around. What shall we do? Hold on tight, says Max. They fly out of the window and around the top of the tower. Look, they're flying. Oh, they're flying. Where are we going? How do you steer a broomstick, asks Max. I, I don't know, but I'm not scared, says Alice. And the broomstick, where do you think they're gonna fly? If you can't steer it, how do you, what do you think might happen next? What do you think? Do you think that's something that they could do? Let's find out what happens. They, uh-oh, the broomstick flies on. It flies near a very tall tree. Look, says Max, I can see something flying into the tree. What do you see flying into the tree? What? What do you see? I see a duck. What? What is that? What is that little thing right there? What does that look like to you? I see something moving in the tree. Let's find out what it is. It's Lucky, Queen Grand's cat. Oh, poor Lucky. What do you think it's doing up in the tree? Oh, poor little cat. Poor Lucky is stuck and she can't get down, says Alice. The broomstick stops near the cat. And the cat jumps on. Hold on, Lucky, says Alice. You're safe now. Take us home, please, broomstick, says Max. They all fly back to the castle. The broomstick whizzes through the window and stops. Max, Alice, and Lucky jump off. That was fun, says Max. Quick, put the broomstick back in the corner, says Alice. I can hear someone coming. Queen Gran comes in. Does that what I look like? Am I a Queen Gran? And 
look, there's the kids. There you are, my dear, she says. I hope you've been good and not touched anything. Oh, there's Lucky. I've been looking for her everywhere, says Queen Grand. I thought she was lost. We've been a little naughty. But we did find Lucky, says Max. Well, it was the broomstick that found her. So even though they weren't supposed to touch, they still were honest, weren't they? They told Grand that they did touch something. But that also helped them find their little kitty. Do you think Queen Gran was okay that they touched something even though she hadn't asked them to because they found, helped find Lucky the kitty? What do you think? Do you think the kitty's happy? Let's find out if the kitty's happy. Oh, that purring sounds like a very happy kitty to me.